Hello everyone! For this one, it is going to be info on the name of... Oh, actually not even on the name, on the whole Random Booster Volume 23. It is coming out on December 26th, 2020. Although, seeing out loose for the end win, don't be surprised for everything to see some review a little bit earlier than it. But, very, very exciting. Make sure in the comments you tell me what bay is your favorite and why. We're going to go over each of the bays one by one. So let's go over the bays one by one. We have our first bay, which is the prize bay, which is Hollow Death Scyther 12. I believe the frame, there's a new frame. It's called Axe, I'm pretty sure. That should be the frame's name. If it's not, correct me in the comments. Uh, then after there is High Excel Dash. And yeah, you know, that's, that's really it. So the gimmick with Death Scyther, first of all, you can, you can already tell, oh boy, look at the metal on it, jeez. So the left and the right side are metal mounted, like there is, there is quite a bit of metal on the hollow ring, which is uh, funny for obviously the name. Uh, yeah, you know, it's interesting. There's a new single chassis, obviously, 4A. So 4A's whole gimmick is that one side is supposed to have like a different shape than the other, I guess. I'm not too sure if the whole, I guess the whole idea is supposed to be not balanced or something. I'm not too sure how competitively viable it's going to be, but it, it, it's certainly interesting. Anyways, moving on. Uh, moving forward, there are other bays. I believe it is Hollow Valkyrie. It is a hollow recolor, so it is another way to get uh, hollow if you just want to get the ring. Again, nothing really that notable to say. I mean, it's cool. I guess they're making another hollow. Uh, very disappointing for me is, again, we are getting Curse. I don't care what chip is... Uh, the, listen, they, the next random booster could do, like, Curse Solomon, and I still wouldn't like it. I do not like the fact that they keep on doing Curse. Listen, do other rings. Even if the rings are not competitively viable, like, come on. Do a recolor of Variant. Do a recolor of the first ring. Like, we don't need another Curse. Uh, after that one, less disappointing is Abyss Longinus. And let, let me know in the comments the discs that you're able to actually see on these. Abyss is a nice blue. Love it. I don't, zero complaints. Awesome recolor. Uh, now moving on to the other bays. There is a green Storm Pegasus. Which I'm like, okay. The, the thing is this, look, I love Metal Fight. I just really wish it was one of the newer ones, like Galaxy Pegasus or Meteo or, or something like that. Or at the very least, why didn't they do a recolor for Rock Leon? Because Leon never got a recolor. To get Pegasus is quite pointless since we've already gotten Pegasus before. Less disappointing. Is, well, actually, hold on. There's also Drasil. They did like a red Drasil recolor. Okay. Listen, well, so I'm not that big of a fan of. Uh, you know, some of these remake recolors. I, I only really wanted the MFB2, to be honest. But I guess for old gen fans, if you liked your seal, hey, recolor. Moving forward from there, what other bays are there? There is also a purple Archer Hercules, which is in the colors of Ichika Kindo's Archer Hercules. So if you don't know, in GT anime, there's a character, Ichika Kindo. Uh, she doesn't actually have a bay, but she has an Archer Hercules. So it seems they did a recolor based on that. So that's uh, really cool. Uh, I don't mind it at all. And it, you know, at least Archer Hercules is like, it, 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 it was viable at the time, you know, not that bad. Uh, last one, which I think is, and if I'm skipping any bay, it's probably because I don't care about it. Uh, there is Red Dead Phoenix. So this is actually based on the lottery colors of Dead Phoenix, which looks fire, fire. Probably the best one, probably the best one for me in terms of colors. So in the comments, you gotta let me know your thoughts on this. If there's anything else I'm missing out, I might do a follow-up video. We don't know any of the other parts as of yet. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I'm, I'm kind of excited. It depends what other parts the booster is gonna have. But uh, I hope it's gonna be good. Also, Daigo's not on the box. So please, I do not wanna see, oh, Daigo's gonna return. Listen, if Delta wasn't on the box for Death and Abyss and, and Daigo's not on the box, it means Daigo's definitely not gonna be in the anime. Even if he was, it'd be reduced to a cameo. Anyways, bye.